is Red Feather from Grep Hacks. In this video, we will show you how to green screen any image or video. When we think of green screening, we think of two things. One, the screen is green, and two, you are recording in front of a green screen. Although, we do not record a video using a green screen. We show you using the video editor KDN Live how to put one in place. The color of the green screen could depend on a few factors like color clashing or canceling. KDN Live makes it a lot easier to determine the color to use for the screen. That being said, open KDN Live, bring in the image and videos you would like to work with. We will start with green screening an image to a video, as this is the easiest process. In order to do this in KDN Live, we need to create a green screen. Go to the project bin, click the drop down arrow for the add clip. Scroll down to add color clip and click. Notice when my KDN Live color clip window appeared, it was already set to green. If yours is not, click on the color bar drop down arrow and change it to green. Once this is done in KDN Live, place the green screen color clip on the timeline, placing it under the image you would like to use. Next, we need a KDN Live effect called rotoscoping. Go to the effects list and type rotoscoping. Grab the rotoscoping effect placing it into the image on the KDN Live timeline. Highlight the image so as the KDN Live rotoscoping properties window appears. You should now see a message in the KDN Live project monitor. As we are seeing, click to add points. Right click to close. Decide what area in the image you wish to appear in your KDN Live green screen. Once this is done in KDN Live, go to the Project Monitor, click the area next to the item you want to show. Notice the square that appears. Go to another area a short distance away, but in line with the item. Now notice on the KDN Live Monitor, two squares, and now we have a line. So let us use this to trace around the whole item. I know it may be a bit hard to see, but with each square, there are two dots that can adjust the lines that can help with angles and or curves. Once the item has been traced, go to the first square that you started with and right click. This will end the trace and join them together. Once this is done in KDN Live, this must be rendered out. If you have other items on the timeline as we do, render the green screen using the zone in, zone out function. And don't forget to put a check mark in the box of the render window, render selected zone. Once the green screen item has been rendered, bring it into KDN Live, placing it on top of the video on the timeline you wish it to appear in. Now we need another effect called Chroma Key. Go to the effects list, type Chroma Key. Notice there are two KDN Live Chroma Key effects. One basic, the other advanced. The reason for this is 
different images or videos have so many different color schemes that can clash or cancel. The advanced chroma key has a lot of extra features that can be utilized. Let us start with the chroma key basic. Grab a hold of the effect, placing it into the green screened item on the KDN Live timeline. Highlight it so the KDN Live chroma key properties window appears. In the KDN Live chroma key properties window, Notice we have a couple of things going on. One, I am adjusting the Marlance bar in order to get our image to appear in the video. And the color bar, chroma key, has chosen to use blue. So I have changed the Marlance bar, but still can't get what I want. So we will change the color of the chroma key bar. We choose to use the same green screen green we made it with. In order to do this in KDN Live, in the chroma key properties window, next to the color bar, there is a color picker. Click on it, then go to the project monitor, clicking on the green area. Notice the color bar is now green. But notice, even after making this adjustment in KDN Live, for whatever reason, I could not get what I wanted. So, let's remove the basic chroma key and try the advanced. Once the advanced chroma key has been added, you can see the many different features it has that can be adjusted. I would like to point out that there is no exact science here. Every image or video is different. So unlike some effects in KDN Live, where you can say, use this number or adjust to this setting, this is all in what works best with the color schemes of your image or video. Well, as you can see, we have gotten the image looking pretty good using the advanced chroma key. Being the image is a bit oversized, we are hoping that as we resize, the imperfection will be hidden. For this adjustment, we will use a KDN Live effect called Position and Zoom. Grab the Position and Zoom placing it in the green screened item. In the KDN Live Properties window of the position in Zoom, adjust to the proper size and position you would like for the item to appear within your video. You may notice that after moving the green screened item, as we did, that further adjustment is needed. And we used the color picker to acquire the original green screen color from the KDN Live clip monitor. The next part of this KDN Live tutorial is done in such a way so as we can explain and show some of the difficulties that can be present when trying to green screen and not using a tripod during the recording. Because we have already created a green screen in KDN Live that we used for our image example, we would just use that one. So bring the color clip, placing it on the timeline, place the video you would like to green screen on top of the KDN Live color clip. Do any edits necessary, like removing audio and so forth. Once this is done in KDN Live, go to the effects list, bringing in the rotoscoping effect in the project monitor 
tracing around the object or person, in our case, the Grepax kitten. Now, as you may have noticed with the preview of our kitten video, there are a few things that will complicate matters. One is a tripod was not used, so there is some hand movement. And two, our kitten, well, <laughs> she is moving as well herself. These two things should be taken into consideration before undertaking the task of the green screening, as you will see. Once this is done in KDN Live and you have connected your rotoscoping, now notice as we go to adjust our KDN Live points, the movement is frame by frame. In order to go frame by frame in KDN Live, at the bottom of the project monitor, you will see some numbers that tell you what frame you are on. Next to those numbers are two arrows, one up, one down, that represent forward a frame or back a frame. So on the KDN Live timeline, move the zoom all the way up. This will allow you to work frame by frame. And with the razor tool, making cuts so as to only adjust the portion you want and not affect prior adjusted sections. Bringing Kadian Live into full screen mode can help a lot while making such adjustments in order to do this in the project monitor, in the top right hand corner, click on the full screen mode. Once you have finished adjusting the movements in the green screen, in our case, our kitten, render and bring in the rendered item. Along with the video, you will place your green screen video into. Place the green screen video on top of the video on the KDN Live timeline. Go to the KDN Live effects list and bring in the chroma key. We will start with the basic chroma key. Once this is done in KDN Live, instead of trying to adjust the violence bar, we just change the color of the chroma key by using the color picker and choosing our green screen color. And it did the trick. So now let us add our Kading Live effect position and zoom in order to resize and position. Once you're happy, render away. The area I chose to green screen took approximately three hours because of all the movement. Katie and Live did an excellent job and we only experienced one crash. Although, most likely due to the fact I was recording and my system did a scan all within the process. We hope you have enjoyed this video and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? Ringing that bell in order to receive notifications your way. <laughs> I mean, after all, ladies and gentlemen, it is free. The beginning and the end of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu1. Thank you in advance. I am out. <laughs>